Hello everyone, I'm back with another Warhammer 40k video. Today, I'll be painting some Dark Angels Ravenwing. It doesn't look like they'll be releasing any Primaris Ravenwing command squads, so I decided to have my own take and put them on jet bikes. I primed the models black and started off with edge highlighting. The darker highlight is a mix of Vallejo model color camouflage dark green and P3 iron hole gray. And the lighter highlight is a mix of Vallejo model color green sky and iron hole gray. I'm mostly touching the raised edges of the model with the side of the brush, and I'm placing down a darker highlight and a thinner line of the lighter highlight. Next, I'm shading the model to tie everything together and to give the black some hue. I use Drakonoff Nightshade for a blue hue on the bike, and I use Druki Violet for a purple hue on the power armor. You can apply more layers for a darker and more subtle look. Here, from left to right is no layers, one layer, and two layers. For highlighting the jet bikes, I'm using a loaded brush. I load the brush with some thinned down P3 Thamar Black, and pick up just a dot of light sea gray with the tip. This creates a nice gradient when I move the brush back and forth and is a quick way of painting some reflections. Here I'm using Vallejo Metal Color Jet Exhaust to paint the exhaust and other metal parts. This is my first time using their metal color line and it's really smooth and easy to work with. Next, I painted the eye lenses with P3 Sanguine Base, followed by Scale Color Artist Primary Red, then Citadel Color Troll Slayer Orange, and finally Vallejo Game Color Dead White. As usual, I'm using Sanguine Base as the first layer for my red parts. I use Vallejo Model Color Violet Red for the leather parts on the seats and the wraps on the handles. I highlighted the bright red parts with Primary Red. I use Vallejo Liquid Gold, Old Gold for the gold parts. It's an alcohol base paint so it's a little harder to work with, but I think the results are well worth it. I started painting the feathers with light sea gray. I'm using a larger size 2 brush here so I can paint faster. I've actually been looking into buying a size 8. I'm highlighting the feathers with Vallejo Game Color Wolf Grey. Light Sea Grey has a green hue to it, whereas Wolf Grey is more neutral and bright. I also used wolf gray for the other white details. Against the black armor, the gray will basically read as white. To paint the coils and the plasma guns, I used Vallejo Model Color Turquoise and I mixed in more and more Wolf Grey for the highlight.
For the brown and beige on the robes, purity seals, and bone details, I used a mix of P3 Umbral Umber, Vallejo model color Yellow Ochre, and Citadel Ushapti Bone. I use Ushapti Bone as the highlight color, and for extreme highlights, I added in a little bit of Scale Color Artist Vanilla White. I'm painting the tires with a mix of Vallejo model color, German Camouflage Dark Green, and Liquitex Black Ink. Even though the tires were already primed black, this rubbery green black separates the tires from the rest of the shiny blue-black bike. On to oil washing. I wanted to boost the blue on the feathers, so I mix some cerulean blue with the Tamiya enamel gray. I use a Q-tip and enamel thinner to clean off most of the oil wash. For the screens on the control panels, I use P3 Gnarls Green and I drew on some patterns with Vallejo model color, Green Sky. You can just leave the screens blank, but I like to draw on some different patterns. You can have some targeting patterns, radar, system diagrams, or even stock trading charts. I freehanded a crux pattern on the shoulder pads using wolf gray. Here you can see how the thin lines layer on top of each other. I think this banner took me a few hours to paint. I started off with sanguine base. I mixed a drop of P3 Signar Blue base into Iron Hole Gray, and I painted the edges of the waves. For the Sea of Flames, I layered on a mix of Troll Slayer Orange and Game Color Sun Yellow on top of Yellow Ochre. I use P3 Gnarls Green and Iosin Green for the robes and the flag. For the rays coming out of the sun, I'm alternating between Vallejo model color flat red and scale color primary red. Red is usually pretty tricky to highlight, but here I'm just using some wolf gray and I'm glazing over some red. The contrast wasn't strong enough for me, so I layered some Troll Slayer Orange on top of the flat red. Here I'm painting the white details with Wolf Grey. I use Umber Umber and Ushapti Bone for the bone details. I 
put on some gloss varnish and I thought I could run some oil paint into the recesses, but it didn't really work. You can see that I'm struggling to get the paint to go where I want it to. I cleaned up the oil and I used a thinned down Thamar black for the black lining. Here's a shaky close-up of the banner. I didn't get any footage of the lettering here, but I'll link you to another video where I talk about it more. The last detail I want to share is how I painted the leather of the command squad. Like highlighting the banner earlier, I used wolf grey for the highlights. I wanted the color to have a lot of depth, so I placed the shadows with scale color artist Moss Green. It looks weird right now, but glazing on a couple thin layers of sanguine base will really bring the leather to life. And with that, I'm calling it done. It took me a long time to finish these models, and I hope you found this video entertaining and maybe even informative. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy painting with me.